18th visit for the Outlaws to the Deer Creek Speedway. The World of Outlaws Labor Day Duel coming to green. $20,000 to win. We're underway. Into turn number one. Sorensen going to lead him on the outside. Here comes Shepard trying to make it three wide for the race lead early in this one. Down the back straight away. Sorensen going to drive away with the early race lead. Pierce going to follow here in the 32. Off a of corner number four. It's going to be Sorensen leading lap number one in the 28. So Sorensen will lead the way. Now Pierce going to go back to his inside. They go Hoosier to Hoosier. Down the back straight away. Hoosier daddy give it to the 28 of Sorensen. He'll lead the way. Lots of laps around this racetrack. Pierce looking to his inside. Off of corner number four, they race hard. Second lap. Do we see a second different leader? Yes, we do. It's Bobby Pierce. Can we see a third different leader on lap number three? Pierce slides up the racetrack. Sorensen going to try to cross him over. Nothing there. He stays true to the top side. Here comes Shepard. So now Pierce will come back to lead back-to-back -back laps here in 32. Shepard on the top side. Dennis Herb down low. They go wheel to wheel. Down the back straightaway. Shepard has third. Now Shepard going to go after the 28 of Sorensen off a of corner number four. Dennis Herb still there. Good three-car battle. At the line, Shepard has the second position. But right now, we keep an eye on race leader Bobby Pierce and the eye on that battle. Just 10 laps in. Off a of corner number four, 40 to go for the 32. Appears Shepard hanging on to second. Sorensen still in third, and Bronson pulls the trigger. He's going to take fourth away from the 28 of Dennis. How about two sliders? <laughs> 40B of Bronson gets around Dennis Herb. Shirley gets around Gustin. Gustin going to cross over Shirley. Good battle here down the back straightaway. Shirley holding off Gustin. Now Shirley going to go after Dennis Herb. Good side-by-side -side battle. Now Shirley slides up the racetrack off of turn number four. Dennis Herb Jr. can't cross him over. It's Shirley in the 3S up to the fifth position. Now Pierce going to go to the inside of Giassi. He'll get around him and have the assurance of a lap car between him and Shepard. Oh, Pierce slips up and over turn number two, and Shepard going to close it in a hurry down the back straightaway. It was a 1.1 second lead that time at the line. We'll see what the difference is this time by 1.1. And now down to six tenths. Shepard closing into the 32. The Shepard hanging on to second. Here comes Sorensen. It's a three car battle up front. Down the front straightaway, Sorensen now to the inside of Shepard. Oh boy, the USMTS champion may have a say here in this one. Down the back straightaway, Sorensen to the inside of Shepard. They go wheel to wheel, but Shepard holds him off. Pierce now drives away. He puts a lap car in between him and Sorensen and Shepard at the line. It looks like Sorensen might have had Shepard, but no, Shepard has it. So into one and two. It's Pierce with Shepard taking the lead for a blink of an eye, but Pierce gets the run off of turn number two. Well, it's a 1.7 second lead, but there's heavy lap traffic for Pierce. Bruning, Larson, Hoffman, Tim, Matthews, Clanton, and Stormy Scott all in front of him. A gaggle of race cars all in front of Pierce. And just like that, the, elite ev the lead evaporates to a 1.3 second. Oh, Sorensen way up against the wall in one and two, but somehow gets a good drive off the corner. Down the back straightaway, Sorensen still right there within striking distance on Shepard. We talked about Brent Larson. If he could just get into those heat race, man, he could be a threat every night. And here comes Sorensen. Sorensen to the inside of Shepard. Slide jump for second. At the line, 11 laps to go. And how about Dustin Sorensen? He's warming up the 28S on the move. Down the back straightaway. Oh, he's been oh so close to three full jamborees. But this would make it up. Off of turn number four, can he start to carve into the 1.6 lead that Pierce has? Down the front straightaway, Pierce gets around the 30 of Cooney, the 49 of Tim, and Shepard back around Sorensen. Dynamite battle for the second position. Down the back straightaway, both drivers racing so hard that they're closing in on the 32 of Pierce, but they do have side-by-side -side lap traffic in front of them. This time, just nine laps to go for the 32 of Pierce. Down the front straightaway, Bronson also way up there by the wall. Oh, Deer Creek's going to be a good finish. Sorensen gets high up in the wall, lets the sparks fly. Meanwhile, at the line this time, hand up in the air, five laps to go for the 32 of Bobby Pierce. Shepard hanging on to second, Sorensen gonna abandon the top side in three and four, he'll dip down low, but go up high and turns one and two. Bronson follows in the 40B. Off of corner number four, this time at the Deer Creek Speedway, this is the Barretts, one lap to go. Pierce will not force the issue to close in on the 49 attempt. Now Shepard gonna send it on the top side. Do we see a last lap pass? He's won the last two down the back straight away. Shepard has one more shot. Pierce enters low to protect the slider and Shepard enters low off of corner number four Bobby Pierce wins 11th of the season with the outlaws $20,000 richer as he dominates Deer Creek in 2023.
You can't even see the decals and Pierce climbing out of the car here in the 32. Not sure if something happened with the race car that he can't power it anymore. And yes, he's going to require a push. Here's the Dirt Vision replay getting the report. He has no brakes on the 32. And there you can see the car handling differently there at the end of the race. Pierce has no brakes on the 32. And he'll get ready to climb out of the car. Race fans, how about it for the 11th time here in 2023? He will conquer Deer Creek. Deja vu for the 32. The smooth operator, Bobby Pierce. Oh, definitely the, the whole time there. Um, I wanted to keep a good distance. Brandon, he was pretty quick. And uh, just like the last time we were here, he was quick in that, uh, that five car. I think it was the, the other five car, the black one. And... Uh, yeah, you know, he definitely had me really on when we were battling with Dustin, and I knew he had a fast car, so uh, I wanted to get the lead and, and get gone. But um, there towards the very end with about, it was probably like 16, 15 laps to go, I lost brakes completely, and I had no brakes at all. Like, um, it's super tough to drive these cars with no brakes because, like, you, you're on them constantly around the whole race, racetrack, especially like that. And uh, it was tough. I was uh, throwing the car in there, uh, trying to use a gas pedal and just anything I could do. and. I got really lucky that it took some rubber at the very end because uh, I wouldn't have been able to keep around the top like that. I, I would have ended out of the ballpark like Clanton the last time. Did you realize how close Brandon Shepard was there at the end of the race? Uh, yeah, because my dad was going nuts on the back stretch. He was, uh, he was like throwing his arms up in the air like, what are you doing? Slow down, basically, I, I think. And I couldn't, you know, I had no brakes. So uh, I did the best I could and somehow we held on. So uh, I got to give a huge shout out to this team. We faced a lot of adversity through the year and um, especially in a lot of these World Outlaw nights and somehow we managed to still finish up front a lot of nights. So thanks to them guys for their hard work. And uh, once again, uh, I, I don't think I've ever won a race on Abby's birthday. So huge shout out to her. Uh, I know she's watching back home and uh, she's really happy. So uh, I'm glad to get the get that win for her and uh, all my awesome sponsors, Hoker Chucking, Rio Grande Waste Services, Mississippi Valley Transportation, Carnegie Towing, Ted Brown, Extreme Electric, uh, Burt Transmissions by Buddha, Leak Tree Services, A Plus Vacuum, Toyota of Danville, VP Racing Fuels, Bilstein, Longhorn, uh, Vicka Race Engine, Swift Springs, Fast Shafts, so, um, Profab Headers, Golithium Batteries, Chubby, uh, Pure Max Racing Oils, Fast One Speed Shop, everyone that helps us out, thank you. I'm still uh, in shock how the, the years went so far. It's it's been my best year uh, by far, really, and uh, it's uh, it's awesome. But we stay motivated. We uh, we treat every day like it's a new day, and um, you know I, I want to win them all. I get greedy sometimes, but uh, it, it's been an awesome year. And if we can cap this thing off, like you said, ten races to go. It's uh, it's in the home stretch now, so we'll see what happens. But uh, we just want to maintain that lead and. Uh, It'd be awesome if we're staying in there at Charlotte at, at the end of that weekend with a championship trophy. For live coverage of every World of Outlaws event and for extended on-demand race content, visit DirtVision.com. For full race results, features, and series news, visit WorldOfOutlaws.com.